Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze2244 and in this video I'm going to show you 10 secret exits you probably didn't know about within the Hitman 3 trilogy. Going back from Hitman 2016 all the way up to Hitman 3. There's Easter egg exits and exits you probably didn't even know, weren't even aware of. So I'm going to show you 10 of them here and uh, yeah, that's the plan. But before we get into that, I just want to give a shout out to my sponsorship for this video. Monster Legends. It's a free-to-play monster strategy game available on iOS and Android. Click the link in the description for all the rewards available. There are hundreds of monsters to collect, including some of your favourite YouTubers like Mr. Beast and Laserbeam and loads of others. You can choose its skill set by feeding and training them so they can fit your strategy so you can dominate on the battlefield. You can even breed two different types of monsters and create your own hybrids to find the perfect monster for your battles. So you can mix and match all a bunch of different kind of monsters and tailor them to whatever your needs are. There's a ton of stuff to do, including different types of PvP, like the special dungeons, and an adventure map as well. You can even fight in real time against a friend of yours and find out who is the best out of both of you. On top of all that, there's new events every single week, and there's always new adventures to play. It's awesome. I'm having a ton of fun playing with it. Click the link in the description and download Monster Legends and get your free rewards worth $30, which includes 50000 in food, which is massive, by the way. I can tell you that. It helps grow your monsters very quickly and very powerful, so that's a massive reward. You also get an epic monster called Cowrie, and you also get 300000 in gold, which is a massive amount, by the way. It helps you build all your buildings and stuff like that. So the, click the link in the description so you don't miss out on playing, so you should too. So coming in at number 10 is the Vroom Vroom Exit. Uh, so if you're not familiar with this, so 47 ride a little dinosaur toy car thing. And uh, yeah, it's a really amusing exit. So to do this, what you need to do is collect 10 apricots started all around the map in Colorado. Then you need to get the quad bike key from the shed at the back of the map on the eastern side. And then you need to get the hallucinogenic drugs in the shed where Ezra Berg usually hangs out, so grab that. Then you need to head inside the house, go to the second floor, and feed this rat to 10 apricots. Once you do that, there's an exit going to be appearing on the north side for you, and here it is. Definitely one of my most favourite exits. The second one is going to be the Miami Dolphin exit. So you're obviously going to need to be in Miami. You need to make yourself uh, make sure you've got a fish in your hand. And you need to run through the fountain in the exact order that I'm running through each of these fountains in order. And once you've done it in the right order, you will have the exit appear for you. And this is what it looks like. Staying in Miami, we got the Stig Easter Egg exit. So Stig is from Top Gear. So what you need to do first of all, I'm going to advise you to start in this start location with this disguise on, then head down into the locker room and grab the Pale Rider disguise. And you need to complete the mission while in this disguise, otherwise it doesn't work. So you have to make sure you grab this disguise, take out both targets, then head back over to this uh, to this paddock over here. Is it called a paddock? I can't remember now. But once you get over here, Diana Some will start talking. That he can choke out a man forever. Yet still has time to play the waiting game. All we know is his name is 47. That bit of dialogue there is usually uh, an Easter egg to the Top Gear stuff when they introduce the stick. Next one is going to be the Flamingo exit. So all you need to do is make sure you take out both targets, grab yourself a flamingo disguise, you can't use the suit version, you need to grab one from the map itself, head over to where this helipad is, and then here we go. Next it's going to be in Whitstone Creek, and this is the raft exit, so you need to head over to this abandoned house, you need to lockpick the, uh, the the garage door, then you need to grab yourself this paddle and it won't unlock unless you have this paddle so head over to the exit that does appear while you have the paddle in hand and there's the raft exit pretty cool next one is going to be an Isle of Scale and this is the Swan Dive exit so what you need to do is take out both targets any way you want to then grab this disguise from Blake Lanthaniel I'm going to hide his body as well 
but put this disguise on after you've taken out both targets and the exits are available. Head over to where the butler is and go ahead and talk to him. Then what you got to do is uh, let lead him all the way to where the kitchen is and then lead him into the the freezer itself. It's a bit of an easter egg to Tomb Raider. So it's a long, long way, but uh, just make sure you lead him all the way into the kitchen and into this freezer. You'll get a little jingle to confirm that you've done it right. And once you hear that jingle, just head over to where the exit is going to be next to the effigy. So go past the effigy, and here it is. Next one is going to be in the bank. So what you need to do for this, this is going to be the, uh, the window exit. You need to cause a little bit of havoc here so you can get over to where the, uh, the stocks are. And you need to sell, sell, sell. So just keep selling and crash the market. And once you've done that, after you've taken out your target and you have the exits available, there will be an exit over here going to be available. And this is an Easter egg for the IT crowd. And it's quite funny. Next is going to be in Haven Island, and this is the uh, the crocodile exit. And to do this, you need to take out, I think it's 18 crocodiles. The inflatable crocodiles are all over the map. I'm going to show you exactly where they are. So there's three. Uh, I want to show you each location of all of the crocodiles so you can get this done. One of the most painstakingly long ones to actually achieve. Uh, the payoff, I don't think, is worth all this hassle. Because I would recommend using a disguise that can actually carry weapons, of course. And just make sure you use a weapon that uh, is very silent as well. So you need to take out all of the 18 inflatable crocodiles. The next ones are going to be over here by the huts. And there's going to be a people around. I don't care about people spotting me at this point. I just uh, just want to show you where all the crocodiles are. You can do this silently if you want to and, and do whatever you want to. But I'm going to make sure I take out uh, everyone that's in my way. But I'm going to show you all the crocodiles on the way, of course. These ones are a bit tricky. There's four of them over here. So there's... Four of them stacked, so there's a pink one, green in the middle, and a lighter green one on the left, and a darker green one just over there. There's also one underneath the table as well, so you need to get a little bit closer for this, and it's just going to be right there. Very hard, very easy to miss, I should say. The next two are going to be in this little uh, little shed. Get rid of that guy. Take out these two crocodiles, and there's two more. They're both going to be in the pool. Take them both out. Oh, watch out for the guard so we don't get shot. That one would be very good. Be one of the pool right there. There we go. Once you've done that, there will be an exit appearing on the um, the south side of the map, which is going to be this crocodile exit right here. Pretty cool. Next is going to be the UFO exit in Berlin. So what you need to do is come to this location here and take a picture of this little UFO that's on the wall. Inspect it in your intel. And then you need to head back to where the gas station is. Just keep following the path all the way up to where the gas station is. This is obviously after you've taken out all five targets. You can't do this in a contract either. You have to make sure you do it in the main mission after taking out all of your five targets. Head over to where the gas station is, and in there, there's going to be a telephone. You'll be able to interact with it. Just type in 1993, and then you'll get the UFO exit. I've saved the best to last. This is the ET exit. So to do this one, you need to make sure you collect four bird eggs that are scattered throughout the map. This is where the first one is going to be. So what you need to do is from where the, around where the start location is uh, in your suit when you get to the tower, you can head down this, these paths right here and you will find a bird egg that's just on the floor on your left. Shout out to Anubis6 as well on YouTube for discovering this Easter egg. Really cool. The second egg location is just going to be right over here where the uh, all the pipes are and stuff like that and all the storage units. So I'm going to show you the path to get there. So what you want to do is just follow where I'm going over to where it is. 
Once you're here, make sure you shoot the bird nest out of the tree and it will drop the second bird egg on the floor. Third egg is just going to be around the back as well. It's where the pipes are, so just where my marker is right there. So you want to go ahead and follow where I'm going. Go through the, uh, the cement pipe and just on your right is going to be the third egg. Just on the floor. The fourth one is going to be inside uh, the building itself. So you need to come over here on level one. That is where the uh, fourth and final egg is going to be. So just go ahead and follow this path. Go inside through this shortcut right here. Through the stairs. And on your left is going to be where the skylight is open. So once you drop down, just on your left in the corner, is going to be the fourth and final bird egg. Now you need to take these four eggs onto the rooftop over in this building over here. So if you want to do is just follow the direction I'm going. Just come up here, across the, uh, the landing right here, up the stairs and on this roof. Now you need to throw these eggs at four specific points on these walls. They're going to be like four pictures of a little bird uh, with a frying pan. And the idea is to throw the egg at the frying pan. Now, if it doesn't appear for you where it should be right here, uh, just go ahead and throw it at the wall anyway in this specific area. And it will flash like that. And that will trigger the next painting to appear on the wall, which is going to be just here. And the reason why it didn't appear, I think, is all down to uh, me reloading a save, I guess. I can't imagine any other reason for it, but that's two. The third one which is going to be on the wall here. And they have to be done in this order because they don't appear otherwise. And the fourth and final one is going to be on this wall. And once you've done that, there's going to be an exit behind you that appears, which is a nice little bicycle. Go ahead and take that and you'll see the really cool Easter egg. I love that. That is so good. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much to the sponsor of this video, Monster Legends. Don't forget to download it. It's a link in the description. It's free to play for iOS and Android. You can get 50,000 in food, an epic monster called Kauri, and 300,000 in gold, which is a massive amount as well. So click the link in the description so you don't lose out. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to do the channel. Hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much to Monster Legends. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.